Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Over the last year, I have been working towards creating a dedicated space to work from home. As a creative, having a dedicated workspace is crucial. I'm excited to share with you and give you a quick tour of my desk setup. I spend most of my day in my desk, so I wanted to create a space that would increase productivity, focus, and creative thinking. For the layout of the space, I wanted my desk to be next to a window to maximize natural light to come in. If I had to describe the style I was going for, I would say it's a mix of minimalism, industrial, and mid-century. As a creative, Having a dedicated workspace is crucial. It can have a big impact in our attitude, well-being, and levels of productivity. This is what works for me for now. Let's start off with the desk itself. I got this desk from Amazon. I went with a standing desk to help reduce back pain. It has three customizable preset buttons, a cable management tray, and desk hooks for extra storage. Here we have an LG 27 inch 4K monitor. It's a great budget friendly option and it is considered to be one of the best monitors for graphic designers in 2022. Next up is Apple's Magic Keyboard, Magic Mouse and Desk Map. I really enjoy using the Magic Mouse, the main reason being the multi-touch surface feature that allows you to scroll in every direction and the keyboard has great quality when typing. It feels light and responsive, and both are wireless and rechargeable. Next up is Apple's 14-inch MacBook Pro. It is Apple's newest MacBook. By far, this is the most expensive item on my list, but also the most important. I upgraded a couple months ago, mostly because I wanted a machine that could handle video. I upgraded for my old MacBook Pro 2013. I had high expectations for this new MacBook Pro, and so far, it does not disappoint. Whenever I am working on multiple projects, I like to use my laptop as a secondary screen. This allows me to run multiple programs at the same time and helps me speed up my process, and sometimes even add a third screen using the iPad. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It is a great tool to use when working on projects that require more technical precision and accuracy. Great for illustrations and logo design. Now for my office chair. I like the look and feel. I wanted a mid-century modern style. It's a great chair to use only for a short period of time. But if you sit all day, I would suggest investing in a quality chair to avoid poor posture and back pain. Next up are my Sony Bluetooth headphones with noise cancellation. These come in handy when editing video and even great for disconnecting from reality for a bit. Next up on the list is my bag. By the way, if you haven't seen my last video, I made a video on what's inside my bag. If you want to see what essentials I carry, make sure to watch after this. For storage, I use a 3-tier utility cart. It provides me additional storage space, so convenient at arm's length. It is very spacious. I use it to store all of my office supplies, books, journals, and design gear. It fits in the smallest of spaces and can be moved around whenever I need it. Some additional items to mention is my charging station and notepad holder. I find this extremely useful as it keeps me on track and it helps me be productive with my time. Adding lighting to my setup was critical to eliminate eye fatigue, protect my eyesight, and improve work efficiency. For the decor, 
I wanted to keep it minimal, but I also wanted color, so I did that with the use of accessories. Using books and art is a great way to add color to the mix. And I really wanted to use real plants to enhance the overall appearance of the space and add a natural element. If you made it this far, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading every other week. Next week's video will be designing a brand from scratch. If you like this video, check out my previous video, What's Inside My Bag. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.